Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is going to just be kind of a casual um, creating day for me because on Thanksgiving day, I actually had some time to paint and it was just something that I've been putting off and putting off. And many of you know my walls, so many of my walls are bare and they don't have um, the things that I want on them just because I've been waiting and it's hard to decide. I'm one of those people that I take forever deciding on something. And the artwork that I'm going to be using in my home is no different and especially if it's something that I'm going to be creating for my own walls. And um, it, I don't know, it's one of those weird things where it's like, do you put up your own artwork or what? And I haven't found anything that I just absolutely love in store right now. And believe me, I think that there are much more talented artists out there. I don't put my art on the wall because I think that what I'm doing is really great or anything, but it's just something to get the look that you're going for, but without spending a ton of money. Um, I thought that these picture frames right here were really neat and they're just so easy to hang and to just take off the wall, switch it out if you wanted to, and then put them back up. Um, it came with a template that you just put on the wall and I found these at Home Goods and they should have them right now. It's they're, you know, just where all of the artwork is or picture frames are and I found them on the edge. And um, anyway, I got two sets. I'm really wanting to go back to get more. And these are buildable, so you can have, you know, even more frames. You can have two more sets on here and it would look good. You could just do a whole gallery wall. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to be creating a different painting to put in here because one of the things I didn't like about this one was that it was coming up out of the uh, matting instead of just looking like it's within, you know, it it's within the border of it. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing is just kind of making this smaller. I wasn't sure if I liked this one right here too much. Um, it wasn't my favorite. So I may be going with something different right there. And um, I will take you along as I paint and then I'm going to put it back up on the wall and let you see then. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just take this out of the um, frame itself and then I'm going to use it as a template to just um, figure out how big the, the picture itself needs to be. Um, and then because I did trim this a little bit before I started painting before. And um, then I'm just going to get my paints and start doing that but I also want to make sure and I can't paint on the back of this and usually there's a, um, a more textured side of paper and that's the side that you would want to paint on so I wouldn't want to turn it over anyway but I do have some paper right here that um, I'm just going to trim up real fast you know you just line it up and then I just take a pencil and I am going to trace down the side where I want it to be cut. Get your handy dandy scissors. And of course this doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be within the map. Now I'm saving these because I'm going to be making some uh, some bookmarks. I like to save a lot of my um, watercolor paper because I can usually turn it into something else. But now that I have this, I'm turning it over to where, you know, the textured side is. And then what I'm going to do is just make notations, just very small notations where um, the, the inside of the mat starts that way I make sure that I don't go outside of that and just one on each side okay so now that um, we're going to start painting got to get your paints out and then 
the important thing to me, and I'll put that down there. The important thing to me is to have the paintbrush. Um, I like to have a damp paper towel, and I just put that right here on um, this little this little dish that my daughter gave me because I don't want it to sit on my desk, you know, with it being damp. I have my water, and then I have my watercolor paper. So um, one of the things that I like to start doing is just to kind of lightly sketch out uh, the shapes, the basic shapes of what I want to paint. Uh, sometimes these have been a little too dark and, and I should have gone back through and erased it before I really started painting uh, much of it, but you know, it's, it's you live and you learn. And um, sometimes you can make something a lot darker, but I love the um, much more, um, you know, translucent look. I love the, just the lightness of a lot of the watercolors. So um, having the pencil kind of interrupts some of that look, I would say. And then I like to, picture just take a snapshot of different paintings that you know really stood out to me and that i loved and then that way if i want to try my hand at it i can go back through in my in my pictures and just see different things that i liked so for instance i have different things that i found so really this is just something that i kind of look at for reference but it's not something that's going to end up exactly like it or anything and you don't want your work to look exactly like you know someone else's work but it's great to get some inspiration so that um, you feel like you know kind of what direction you want to go unless you just know off the top of your head what you want to do but I rarely do. What I'm going to be doing with my pencil right now is just getting the general area of where I want certain things. So I want the center of the bud to be um, right about here and then I'm going to, you know, just kind of fill in where I want the rest of it to go. and then add the um, greenery. So we'll just, we'll start with that. And of course, one of the things I like to have is some nice music playing. It just makes all the difference when you are painting just to have something nice playing in the background. Alexa, play relaxing classical. Here's a station you might like. Classical Focus on Amazon Music. And then you start getting your paints.
this is the way that it kind of turned out I am adding a little bit of brown right in the center but the problem too is that sometimes there's just a little bit too much um, water in the middle so you have to you have to make sure that it's dry before you start doing that or it will start to bleed into the other colors which I mean it could be a good thing could be a bad thing depending on what look you're going for I'm not really trying to get too much bleeding in there right now I'd like to dry it up a little bit and then add you know just a little bit more definition to the center A little bit can bleed out that way it's not so um, strong of a look a little bit more delicate of a center and then that could be the overall look so now I'm going to let this dry and then I will put it inside of the frame and hang it on the wall so there you have it I finished my painting now I'm going to put it on the wall and enjoy. There you have it. The rose is all done. I really like the way that that turned out. And, um, you know, it's just nice when you can get something on the wall. I'm just happy that something's on the wall at this point, but um, yes, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little project session that I had. Um, I don't know what this would fit into, but um, this is just how I make some of my artwork, and if you are interested in purchasing any of my stationery that I've painted, um, please head over to my Etsy shop. You can find all of my works over there. And with that, I hope that you all take care, have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing all of you on Monday. Bye, everyone.